Hi all, this is uh, Keizai, and this is uh, uh, the second video in the series. If you haven't seen the first one, I highly recommend going back and watching it. This video builds on what I talked about in the first video for the spreadsheet, uh, and you'll, it'd be beneficial to see the first one. First off, let me uh, uh, say the, the new link is here on Google Docs. Also, I uh, wanted to go through the comments that people left, um, especially this one, uh, correcting me on my math. Yes, the odds don't go up as you delete eggs. Your the number of times that you can breed do, um, and it's and, and and yes, that's absolutely true. Also, I want to thank people who uh, uh, anybody who left a, a comment. Thank you, thank you very much. It was really helpful. Um, also, uh, the features that you'll see in in this version are pretty much based off of the comments that were were left. So, Chroma is is part of the the spreadsheet now. Um, I redid which ones to keep to keep uh, page. I've added a reason to the spreadsheet to let you know what the reason is for keeping it. Um, I also added a couple of uh, graphics and some sources to cite which data I'm using. If you know better data um, or if you're thankful for this one, um, please give a shout out to those people. I've added um, Chroma Parents as as an award. I'll show you how I did some of that. I've added the award data to help both in the keep calculation and also in looking at awards. And then I've added a, uh, a new tab, actually a couple of tabs, um, and I'll walk you through those. But a real fun one is going to be this, this Next Steps tab. So the basic layout of, of what's now called inventory is where you put in uh, your current frogs. You have about a hundred lines uh, here that you can put in uh, as many frogs as you want. You know, 50 from the catalog. Um, you just click on it, and you can you can pick uh, whatever you want to 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 clear. I recommend uh, selecting and, and doing clear contents because that uh, keeps all the formulas intact without um, deleting rows and things like that. Then. Um, to redo the uh, inventory, the, the, the keep here, right? We have a keep and we see this one is, is set to no, which is suggesting that I don't need this one. I had to come up with a set of rules. So what are, what are those set of rules? So I have nine rules, and if you have better rules, let me know. Coming up with the rules is the hardest part. Coming up with the spreadsheet is pretty easy after I know the rules. And basically the rules go like this. If the base color, uh, pattern color, pattern combination, is used in a currently active award, then I want to keep it. Right? If there's something I'm working towards, I, I want to keep that. If the pattern color and the pattern uh, is something that is one of the awards and I haven't kept um, that combination already, I want to keep that frog. Do the same thing with base color. Um, if I haven't kept this base color pattern um, combination already um, and it's used in one of the awards. I want that. That's going to speed up the, the breeding process as I go for awards. And then for Anura, um, I want to see if I have the base color, uh, uh, pattern color, right, those first two attributes, and check for that. If I have one of those, keep it great. If I don't, check for the pattern color, see if I have it. If I don't have it, based off of something I've kept already, um, go out and, and, and keep one. Um, same thing with the base color, look for it. If I have it, good. If I don't, uh, go get a new one. And then for non anuras for, for colors that I don't already have in the Anura, um, look for the pattern color and then look for the base color. And finally, the last rule is uh, if I don't have the pattern already and I haven't kept it, right, it's not in an active award or, or, or something else like that, then, then keep at least one of each pattern. Um, the Anura accounts are still here, and you can see I'm missing missing Chroma, which is a good thing because that means I've added Chroma to the to the to the spreadsheet now. And you'll see that uh, I, you know here's the patterns that I have, and here's the patterns that I don't have. Um, you can see uh, Stoella is or the, the star one is is something that I have multiples, which suggests why I don't need that one over there. I don't have Chroma, and for the pattern color. 
Um, and all that is, is tearing that information out from, from here. What I did next um, was go out and I gathered some data. Uh, so I grabbed um, these graphics um, from a, a place that had referenced them. And this allows me to quickly look at the patterns that I'm dealing with so I can associate patterns to, to names. This was also there at that same location. I'm guessing this is Helen uh, Chang um, who's, who's done this and this is great. It's really easy to look at the colors and see how they're different than the primary colors, secondary colors. And then uh, there's how kind of how they look in the game. And, and the patterns as well. Uh, here's some sources that I, I got most of my data from, the, the iPhone dev uh, penny uh, blog spot, um, as well as the, the reference to, to uh, Kyria um, and her, her spreadsheet on the, the Chrome appearance and some, some additional uh, sources that have been cited in those articles. Here's where I'm pulling in uh, Kyria's data this is the first parent, here's the second parent, here's the results that she's come up with as, as of the time that I pulled it. Um, and then what I did is I just, I just turned them into awards. So there's 13 awards based off of the 13 different combinations she has there. And I'm saying, you know, if I want to go out and get a pair of parents, I can, I can look at those as awards um, and, and kind of set them as pairs. So here's all the different pairs. That leads me to award data. And what I've done is I've added um, the award data, so you see here all the awards. You see what's called an award setting, um, and these have four different settings. I've completed it, I've not completed it, I've decided to skip it, and I've decided to focus on it. Now, done means I've, it's, it's over. Not done means it's something I want to do either now or in the future. Um, if I don't have the pattern, it's going to assume that it's in the future, I do have the pattern, it's going to assume that I want to do it now. Skip says, you know, even if you can do this, I don't want to do this right now. Um, so go ahead and skip it in the calculation. And focus says, even if I don't have the pattern, if I don't have the colors, go ahead and put this at the top of the list of things I want to do and, and set it as a focus. And you can see down here, I've set the uh, chroma parents um, at focus. This does a rough calculation based on some weightings that I put in here as approximately how far I'm done with that based off of the frogs that I have. And you can see the, the chroma parents for, for this one is, is higher than the other ones, right? So I put skip for everything else and I put focus on this one because I just want to do one chroma um, set. And so that's going to show up in, in the calculation. This data here goes through, boom, 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 lots of calculations, um, some, some basic information. But more importantly, now this feeds back into uh, inventory. And this starts to give me the reasons uh, why. Um, now the reasons are based off of the, the rules. So the first rule, I, I put some codes in here, award, BC, CD, PC, PAT. Um, in this case, if it's award, PC, pattern, color, and, and pattern. And you can just kind of go through here and, and see, oh, I'm keeping these because I'm, I want the pattern. I'm keeping this one because I need it for an award. Um, I don't need this one, um, probably because uh, oh yeah, and I added one down here. This is the uh, the Chinese uh, flag, the, the red um, uh, frog with a with a gold star. And so you can see that's an exact match. It's telling me that. But because it's keeping that, it's going to say I, I I don't need this one, um, and and let me know why. Now now for the fun part. The fun part I think is is next steps. And next steps is kind of the the award. Um, uh, dashboard kind of uh, pop up here. What it allows me to do is, is this is where you can put the settings. Don't put it on the other page, put it on this tab. Um, and you can set the settings for things that you want to do, um, things that are not done yet, uh, things that you want to skip, right? Here's my skips and my focus. It's going to take the focus and it's going to put it right up here on top. So this is a list of 10 things um, which are the most likely or the most progressed um, items. And you'll see that uh, because the focus goes first, the, the chroma parent is here, and, and here's what I need. What do I need? I need two, um, one parent each. This one's already done. Um, this one, um, it's going to tell me the next step. So in the steps, there's six basic steps. Find the base color, find the pattern color, find the pattern, breed the anura, 
um, to get that uh, base color pattern color combination. Uh, Crossbreed it with the pattern, um, which uh, gives you um, the, the font that you need, and then finish up. Finish up just says, you know, if you need to breed more, breed more, um, or just if you have to breed others, breed others, uh, and get it to a place where, where you, you, you can finish up the, um, the uh, award. So in this one, you can see uh, I've, I've got this one in inventory someplace. I should go look for it. Uh, this one, um, I probably have the base color, I probably have the patent, and it's telling me I need to crossbreed those two Anura to get the a glass, um, white on glass, um, marmor, mar, uh, marmoria, and then so I can crossbreed those. In the case of Red China, uh, I already have this, right? So it's just going to say, hey, you finish it up, and basically I need to breed till I get eight um, and finish that up. Uh, here's CMYK. Uh, I, I apparently need to breed all these, which means I have all these colors, but I don't. I don't have the the base anura. Um, and you know, because these are anura, as soon as I finish that, it'll it'll pop right up to finish up um, as I get those. So you can just watch this. It's it's pretty quick. Um, let's say I finish up uh, Red China. Um, where is it? Uh, Red China. Red China. Uh, Dr. Blacklist, here it is. Let's say I finish that up, you'll notice it, it um, pops right off, right? And it's going to go ahead and add something at the bottom. Let's say I want to really focus on yin yang, so I set the focus. And let's say I don't like CMK, um, I'd really just rather skip that. Uh, I can set that to skip, and it's going to take it off. And, it's, and then it's going to tell me, you know, these are the, the based off of what I've set here in the word settings. These are the quests that I should be looking at um, and the next step uh, for each one of those quests. And it's gonna, gonna help me do that, real simple. And again, that feeds back to uh, inventory uh, where it tells me um, what to do. So that's, that's where I am this week. If you have uh, more uh, requests or ideas on, on where to take this, uh, let me know. The hard thing always is, um, is the rules, right? Here's the rules for, for the next step uh, for, I'm sorry, for the inventory, and here's the, the rules for the next steps. Um, it's coming up with the rules, which are, are the hard part, or the ward settings, right? If there's four settings, if there's an additional setting that you think I had to put, I can put that in. And then what you what you want the behavior to be, um, or after that. Um, let me know, and uh, we'll see you next week.